Hello students, so this is the last yearbook video. Um, our deadline for student submission of work or uh, entries onto your profile page will be Monday. From Monday you'll be able to make no more updates. So at the moment you should have a lot of content on there. So what you need to do is log in and go to my profile. And you might find that you've got loads of photographs that you haven't put up there, but other people have and that we've tagged as you. That'll be in photos. So I've got 23 photographs of me or tagged of me. And then I've filled in lots of these things. There's a few down here I haven't filled in yet, which I will do. Um, and obviously, all this information is not going to go on one page in the yearbook. Again, here's some of the things that people have confided about me. And this is some people's comments. What you need to do so that I know which bits you want to have in the yearbook is tick them. So you might say, mm, no one really cares about my favourite activity or my favourite bands. But actually, yeah, I want to have some information about my favourite books. So you're going to tick the print. And you're going to print as, tick as many as you want until it goes red. When it goes red, you've got too much information in there. It won't fit onto one page. If you've got loads of stuff that friends have said about you, you might choose to have just your, your pictures, um, your date of birth, email nationality, and then just things your friends have said about you. Or you might choose to just have things you put about yourself or just friends' comments. Each page is going to look different depending on what you tick. Um, I ideally would really, really like, before Monday as well, you to go onto your friends' and teachers' pages, including friends and other year groups, and leave some comments about them or tick... Tick, in some of the, tick some of these and write about your friends because they're going to give that's going to give them more content. It's going to make their pages seem more personal. Even though you're going to have a yearbook that you can physically write in and write little notes, it's quite nice to have some of those funny comments from your friends. When you've ticked everything you want printed, you can tick onto fit photos to layout. So yes, leave that page. And then. I've put one in here. This is what your page is going to look like. Mine's going to say Lenny Dutton, and it's going to have some stuff that I say, some comments, etc. And you can click on these boxes, and you can choose from all those th photographs that people have tagged of you. So I'm going to have have a look through them. I definitely want my Raspberry Pi certified educator. I'm going to ask you to crop them as well. You can do all of this on the. Um, iPad, but actually it is a little bit easier to do it on the um, on the computer. Here again, you can also upload extra photographs or select photographs photo from another page. I might not have tagged one of you, I might have tagged it as science if it's a photograph of you on the classroom, but really I think I probably have. So let me choose my last photograph. Oh my goodness, they're all absolutely terrifying. Here's one of me in my room, so I'll have that one. Okay, and then you're good to go. That is when here is going to look um, much more complete. So mine still says 68%. I'll show you why in a second. You need your thing to go to green. On um, probably Saturday or Sunday, I'll be emailing everyone with a little screen grab so you can see who's who's uh, done their stuff. Without ticking those boxes, it won't go green. This means that I've done that part. The reason that mine only goes up to 68% is that um, for some reason... You no, know, we've only got detail, three details. They do give the option of more, but we've just chosen to have these three. Um, so it says I've only completed three out of seven, but really, I've only completed three because we only have three. Again, um, and here, people haven't filled that in about me. If you had all these things filled in completely, so you've got a choice of you know, every single thing, then it would say 100%. I also want you to have a look at the polls. So I've actually added a few more of the grade nines. Um, so, for example, my favourite community and service project was what I enjoy most about using my iPad is these ones, they've only got four or five votes, some of these, because they're brand new um, things to vote on. So make sure you do that. There's all the ones at the top where, you know, 22 people, etc. have voted on. If you have not voted on these, please do. The Google form that we sent round was to nominate people and also to come up with these poll titles. You... Um, still need to log in to the yearbook machine and sign in there. So just a quick summary, by Monday, please update your profile, uploading photographs you have. Photographs you're going to have on your page can be photographs of you when you're younger if you want, maybe a baby photograph. But you really want to upload photographs from school. It could be from trips you've been on, from work. It could even just be a screen grab of some really cool work that you've done. So I can tag it to different areas. I can tag it to the trips pages, or I can tag it to art if it's a piece of artwork you've done, or I can tag it to um, PLP if it's your PLP work. Don't worry about having to tag them. What I do is I go through and I tag them all, or I link them. I also um, 
change the photographs. Sometimes they turn up and they're upside down. I don't mind going through and doing that, but I need you guys to upload that content because this yearbook is really created by you and I can't do it without your input. So again, sorry, lastly, update your profile page with photographs and you need to fill in these parts. Go to your friends pages, so for example I could look at Mr Jones's page and I can tick these to fill in about him. Likes, what did he like? Big portions of Patsy's Patsy's lunch. Save. I could also fill in this. Oh, I've not done it right. Okay. I could fill in this as well and write a comment about him. Um, if you are someone who has not chosen the photographs or you have not done stuff, unfortunately I'm going to have to go through and choose them. I might not choose the best photographs of you. So you want to get on board and choose those lovely photographs of yourself, the ones that you really like, the ones that you look really happy. Um, for your page, where I showed you here, you want to have one which is just you, but then you can have two more which is you and your friends or a piece of work that you've done. And then lastly, those polls. Again, those polls. But I really, really need you to do this for me by Monday. We want to have the best yearbook ever. This is our first ever yearbook because this is our first year. So it's going to be a historical document that people are going to look back on in years to come. It's also going to be something that you're going to look at when you're older. You're going to show your kids and your grandkids. It's going to remind you of really fun times in the first year here. It's going to remind you of the people that you knew, the trips that you went on, all the fun experiences you had. So um, good luck and thank you so much for spending some time on Yearbook Machine.